Hey everybody, Jason here. Today I'm going to do a short product review on the Trinity or Team Epic uh, 5600 milliamp 4S 90C battery. I bought this battery for my uh, 8 scale Techno EB48 about two months ago. I was going to do a review a little bit sooner, but I figured I'd give it some time, use the battery for a while, that way I could see if it puffed up or if it had any problems, and then I'd report back to you. So, let me go ahead and dig the battery out of the box, and I'll tell you what my experience has been like. So this is the battery. Uh, it's got a little bit of wear on the bottom, you know, just from, from being in the e-buggy and being ran. But overall, I've had a really good experience with it. It's, uh, it has a lot of punch. The buggy can easily make uh, a 10 minute main. I run a, a Tekken RX8 Gen 2 speed control and a Tekken 1900 kV motor. And on the, uh, when it was in the EV48, it was uh, geared, I think, uh, usually I was geared right around 18 teeth. I tried a little higher, tried a little lower, but 18 seemed to be the happy medium for where I was at. Uh, never had any temperature problems. The battery is not puffed at all. I don't know. I don't know how much you can see or can't see, but it's it's still completely square like a brick the way it should be, and uh, it's just been a great battery. Now, when I first got this, I was kind of torn because this battery can be purchased at your local hobby shop or mail order. Now, Stormer has this battery for 109 bucks, which is a pretty good deal for a 4S battery, considering some of them can go up to almost 200 bucks. There's a lot of controversy on whether or not you should buy a big name battery or one of the batteries from some of like the overseas or online hobby shops. I'm not sure exactly where I stand. I don't know that there's a, a tremendous difference in performance or reliability, but I do know this. If you're going to have a thousand bucks invested in one of your RC cars, like most eight scales do, you know, you've got a five or $600 buggy, $100 receiver, $150 servo, $200 speed control, $200 motor, need I say more, you'd you really don't want to skimp in an area that could destroy your vehicle. And that's why I chose to buy a name brand product. Now, ironically, shortly after I bought this battery, uh, my charger kept telling me that it was like dropping a cell. So one cell would be at four volts or three cells would be at like, you know, 3.8 or four volts as it was charging. And one just kept dropping in and out. Come to find out I had a bad balance board. But before I found out I had a bad balance board, I actually contacted Trinity through the website and I didn't hear anything back right away, which is a little surprising because I've always heard good things about their customer service. Either way, I got in touch with the owner on Facebook and literally within minutes, he sent me a message saying, hey, uh, box it up, send it in, we'll take a look at it. If there's anything wrong, we'll replace it. And that made me feel pretty good. That's not going to happen if you buy a battery from one of these online hobby shops that's overseas. One of these off-brands they're more or less completely disposable. So that's just, it's a gamble you're gonna take. Sure, this battery was 110 bucks or whatever, and maybe you could buy a 4S for, I don't know, $60, $70, but if there is something wrong with it, it's disposable. That's just the way it is, so it's, it's your gamble. I've, I kind of figure, hey, if I'm gonna invest a bunch of money, I, I'd like to have at least somebody that stands behind it. Not only that, but I don't know if you can see this band, but it's also Aurora approved, so you're not gonna have any problems going through tech at some of the bigger events. The battery has just delivered great punch, great runtime. It's uh, still flat as a pancake and uh, no puffing or anything like that. So I would say overall I've had a great experience with it. Uh, if you're looking for a 4S battery for your 8 scale e-buggy or your truggy, I would say jump all over this. It's a, Like I said, it's part number TEP2107 and uh, you can purchase this battery right now today at Stormer for $109. Uh, actually, I think they're out of stock today, but that just goes to show you people are buying them. They're good batteries. So. That's that. Hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you guys have questions or comments, please post them below. You'd help me out a lot if you'd be willing to like this video or comment or even subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll try to create new product reviews as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.